have you spent hours cleaning data that could only take you five minutes to do? Well, in today's video, we're going to learn how to clean up your data sets using some of the newer functions as well in Excel, such as a text split and wrap rows as well. Now, if you want to follow along, there is a file link in the description below. And without further ado, let's jump into it. When you are presented with data like this on a daily basis, the best way to clean it is we can you look at two different formulas. Let's look at the text split. What this does is take your data and split it. That is formed with a delimiter. So press a comma here. The delimiter is a comma as well. So as you can see in your data set right here, everything is split by a comma. So you want to make sure that everything gets split by that, press OK. You can see that you have your data right here. You can take that and drag it down all the way. Or the other way to do it is basically highlight here, go across to the data column and the text to columns. Now, this is the older function, but it's quite relevant still in Excel. You can see that it's automatically selected a comma because it's detected it. If that's not checked, you can check if there is a space or you can use anything else that suits your data set, even a different delimiter. Now let's go next and we can see that this is going to be in the destination one. If you don't want to replace your data set, you can have it in a different column if you wish, but for this example, we're going to use that. Let's press OK. And now we see we have a data set. Now, as you can see, the data set is not quite correct in terms of the column width. So let's highlight our data and you do that by control A. As you can see, only highlights a portion. So let's press control A to highlight everything. Now, all we need to do is Alt H O. And as you can see, you can adjust the height of the row or anything that you want here. So we are going to do I to auto fit the column. And as you see, we have the columns fitted right here together. Now we have a lot of gaps in between. So once again, let's get rid of those. And without deleting them once by one, you just do control, control A to highlight your data set, control G, which brings up a dialog box. And what we're going to do is go across and click onto the blanks right here. Press OK. Now what it does, it is going to select all the blank cells within your data. Control minus, and that's going to remove the blanks. Now, if you wanted to move it left, you could, but we're gonna move the blank cells up. Maybe press OK. And now we have a data set with no gaps in between. Let's move across to the date. The date is not in the correct format. And now let's fix the date formula. Control one, go across to date and change whatever format you want to have right here. So now we have a date right there. Now, when you have data sets like this, it could be common to have duplicates. If we scroll down here, we can simply see duplicates as the serial number here. And we can see bakery is to the left and the right. There could be a reason why this is like that. Now, what we can do is let's just go ahead and have a look at one thing. And that is just highlight our data set, control A. And we're going to, to go to conditional formatting and we're going to highlight duplicate values. Now, does it make sense to have duplicate values in dates, departments or anywhere else? No. So the best thing to do is let's see if we have any duplicates just in the serial numbers. Go across here, duplicate values. We can see that we have duplicate values right here. And the way to delete the duplicate values, once again, let's select our data, control A, and what we're going to do is now just have a look, go across to data, and we have the remove duplicates right here. Click onto that. Now it's selected all of the columns for us, but we don't want to delete everything. So unselect everything. Our data has headers right here. We just want to remove the serial number. Press OK. And now only to no duplicate values remain. Perfect, so that removes our duplicates. The next thing that we want to do is have a look at the department. 
Now you can see there are gaps before and after and if you just select that here you can see that we have gaps right here. Now what do we do is we can use a trim function and let's just move that across to here. Let, let's go equals a trim. That's going to remove any of the spaces within a word or a cell without removing the space in between words. So let's press trim. Let's collect on our cell with the data. Press OK. And now if we just double click on this, you'll have everything go down. Now you will notice if you have a look at the fruit and veg here, there are two gaps, two spaces right here and it has removed only one. So this is the perfect way to remove any unwanted spaces within your data. Now to take this, we simply go control and down arrow, we go down, we'll go right to the top again, and we use the special paste function, which is control, shift and V, and that will paste the values as this is just a formula from there. Now we can simply just get rid of this, control minus and that removes our data. Now you might notice that the department is in lower caps and the item name are in capital letters. You may want to change your format of your data to have something in a proper case. So let's type in proper here and then we go and select our data cell press OK and that now will give us a capital at the beginning of each word. Let's double click on that. You can see fruit and veggies there and you could also combine the trim function with the proper function if you want to combine it together but we, this example we're doing it separately. Now we control C to copy and control shift V to paste the values once again. Okay let's just get rid of that. Now, the next thing we could do is go across and let's leave the item name as it is. Perhaps we go over here and we want to change the name of the spelling grey. So we don't want grey to be spelled G-R-E-Y. We want to spell it G-R-A-Y. So the way to do this is highlight your column, control H to bring up the find and replace dialog box. And in this example, what we're going to do is type in G-R-E-Y and we are going to change it to G-R-A-Y. Now watch what happens right here. Let's press replace all and it's replaced 19 grays. There we go. Press close. Okay, let's move on to the country and this looks super messy to me. So we have a city followed by a dollar sign and then we have USA, the country after that. How do we fix this? Well, let's go across and we can do two different things. We can split anything before the dollar sign into the city and after the dollar sign, it seems to be the country. So what we can do is you go across here and let's do text split function. And the text split will take the text comma and what we need to do is put this in double quotes. Let's put the dollar sign there. Let's close it out and there you go. You now have two of them split like that. Now just highlight that, double click, and that will just take your data all the way down to the end. Right, let's go down, control V and back up, control V. Right, now we have our data right to the top. Now you might want to add another column here, so let's just press control and space bar, then control shift and plus, we add another column to the left and let's just make this a little bit wider. And what we can do is just take the name of the city and the country together, control and left arrow, shift and left arrow, let's go down, press control C, we'll go back up to the top and control shift and V. This will allow you to add the data right here and we can type in a city. Now, obviously you can notice that the city is again, once again, not in the correct format. So the way to correct this is go to the proper function. Let's go here, let's close it up. Let's do that. And now double click to go all the way down, control C and once again, control shift V will let the data come right there. 
Now this looks like a perfectly good data. If we want to change the format of the number into dollars, we press control one and we can go to currency. We can go down to any of the dollar signs and press OK. Now you have a dollar sign right there. Any final touches can be done by converting this data into a table. So control T is the shortcut to make it into a table. Press OK and you can choose the different styles as you want for your data set. So it looks much more presentable. Lastly, let's say that we want to have a look at anything that sold over 10 units. Let's go 10 and press OK. And there we go. We can just clear the formatting from here if we want to as well. Now you can see everything with over 10 units is highlighted in red. Another quick feature we can look at is the wrap rows. Now in this data, the same data, we have it just sorted in a column and it hasn't really gone into any sort of table function. So what we can do is use the wrap rows function so equals a wrap rows and open bracket now where is the data so that is from here control shift down arrow to have everything selected now when we look at the wrap count how many times do we want it so we have one two three four five six seven eight and then it starts with one again which should go down let's type in eight and let's just close the bracket because that's all we want is just, there we go. So now we see that we have all our data here that's within the set and you have one, two, three, and then you can sort out your data as well in this way. Thank you for watching this video today. And if you like content like this, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. And until next time, happy spreadsheeting.